Baldwin IV, 1161 to 1185, known as the Leper King, was the king of Jerusalem from 1174 until his death in 1185. He was admired by his contemporaries and later historians for his strong will and dedication to the Latin kingdom. The leprosy weakened him, eventually causing him to go blind and lose the use of his hands and feet. Choosing competent advisors, Baldwin ruled over a growing kingdom and successfully defended it against the Muslim rulers of the Ayyubid dynasty, particularly Saladin. Baldwin experienced the first symptoms of leprosy as a child but was only diagnosed after his ascension following the death of his father, King Amalric. Afterwards, his hands and face became increasingly disfigured. Count Raymond III of Tripoli ruled the kingdom on behalf of Baldwin until the king reached the age of majority in 1176. Soon after taking over the government, Baldwin planned an invasion of Egypt which failed due to the lack of cooperation from his subordinates. Saladin, in turn, attacked Baldwin's kingdom in 1177, but the king and the nobleman Reynald of Chatillon successfully repelled him at the Battle of Montcassard. The Battle of Montcassard took place between the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Ayyubid dynasty on November 25, 1177, at Montcassard, in the Levant between Ramla and Yibna. 16-year-old Baldwin IV of Jerusalem, suffering from severe leprosy, led a outnumbered Christian force against Saladin's troops in what became one of the most famous battles of the Crusades. The Muslim army was quickly routed and chased for 12 miles. Saladin escaped back to Cairo, reaching the city on December 8 with only one-tenth of his forces. Muslim historians regarded Saladin's defeat as so severe that it was only redeemed by his victory ten years later, at the Battle of Hattin in 1187, although Saladin defeated Baldwin in the Battle of Marj Ayyan in 1179, only to be defeated by Baldwin again at the Battle of Belvoir Castle in 1182. On his deathbed, he called the High Court to appoint a permanent regent for his nephew, Baldwin V, and Raymond was chosen. The dying king then ordered that honors be given to his nephew as king and to Raymond as regent, to be followed by a solemn coronation ceremony at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Baldwin died, attended by his followers, in March 1185 or at the latest before May 16, 1185, when his nephew was recorded as the sole king. He was buried in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, near his father, King Amalric. Young Baldwin V died the following year. Sibylla, who succeeded her son, appointed Guy as king. Baldwin IV's realm was destroyed by Saladin after his decisive victory over Guy at the Battle of Hattin in 1187. Sibylla and their daughter died in 1190, leaving Isabella I as the defeated kingdom's heir. The Christian defeat at Hattin, two years after Baldwin's death, tarnished the king's legacy, with historians tracing fatal disputes in Baldwin's reign. However, when Baldwin ascended the throne, the kingdom did not lose territory and experienced economic and spiritual growth. Baldwin understood the importance of restraining Saladin's power, as reflected in his choice of ministers. He did not strategize or engage in diplomacy alone, delegating the protection and financial matters of the church to his mother, Agnes, and his uncle, Jocelyn, respectively. His main contribution was his determination not to abdicate before finding a suitable successor, even though the leprosy disease made governing an unbearable burden. As evident during his reign and especially after the disaster, it was only Baldwin who maintained unity in the kingdom.